Hi, and welcome along to the Bias Premier League show. Troops, how you doing, brother? Yeah, back um, again. No, back again. No fucking hype today, you get me? Yeah, trust me. We didn't even, we both got back very late, obviously, last yeah. night after the game. Um, lack of sleep and everything, but we mm. had to be here to do the show. Mm. And just before we get into it, you know, I'm not even... I don't even I'm not care. even gassed about yeah, this Yeah, I don't year. even care, blood. The, uh, the um, results from the weekend's game. Yeah. Um, Sheffield United versus Arsenal. Yeah, that's a L. You, what did you say? 2-0, I yeah, said 2-1. Banter, blood. Neither of us got that right. Nope. United versus Liverpool. Um, you said 3-0. Mm. I said it'd be 2-1. Mm. It was actually a 1-1 yeah. draw. Neither of us got that one right. Mm. Palace versus City. Here we go. I said 3-1. Yeah, and it was 2-0. I said 2-2. Two, um, two. You said 2-2. Two, two. It's 2-0, two so I've got one point there. Yeah, and then... And Leicester versus Burnley, got, I said 2-1. Yeah, you got bang on. You said 2-0. It's actually 2-1, so mm. I got four points to nil. Yeah. I won this week. Yeah, four, but I'm not nil. even... Because of our result, yeah. I can't even get excited about it. It's 1-1. One, one. We're mm. going to this weekend. Mm. Whoever wins next weekend will get the forfeit. Mm. And I'll tell you what, I'm not even too sure if I'll be back in Arsenal this weekend. The way we... I mean, that was a poor performance at Sheffield United. Poor Poor. And I've got to say, troops here, for the first time this season, I know that you've been saying that you've, you've had videos um, over the past few weeks when we've interviewed you and you've been having a gut people for not backing Emery. I saw a, like a bit of a shift last night. Mm. I always tell these things because obviously I'm interviewing all these fans. Yeah, we're there on the front line. And I see a shift, not just even in the interviews I did, in the ground, yeah. when people around me that were stood on the terraces, they're like, Rob, you sure about this guy, man? Mm. That was the nice people. Those yeah, were the ones yeah, being yeah. nice. There was, there was, I'm there not was, sure about this guy. And yeah. then there's other people. The man next to me weren't really saying that. They were saying, really, well, can't, it, I can't say on camera, blood. You get me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's many other man, people. Man, I'm around, bro. Yeah. Man, I'm, man, I'm reckless Many with it. other people saying, that's <laughs> it, he's got to go. I mean, yeah. at this early stage, he's only nine games in. It does seem ridiculous. But I think what's annoying people is that they're not seeing no pattern of play. This playing out from the back thing, we are so poor at it, right? That's what led to the, you know, because basically at the start of the game, they had corner after corner after corner because we kept getting ambushed at the back. Um, he's not playing Ozil and mm. there's no creativity. And please, why, oh, why was Kieran Tierney not playing in that game yesterday? Why is Holding still on the bench? The guys that we were like, Bellerin is, not even, in, wait Bellerin is not even on the bench. The Bellerin one, I can understand you a can bit understand because it. he had an ACL. It's a bad yeah. injury. You've got to take your time. And Chambers have been playing all right. But Tierney, he said that Tierney is ready. And then the, all I saw the guy doing for the whole game is Was jogging up and up. down the touchline. Yeah. That's the sort of game where you throw a new player in like Tierney and you say, right, you know what I mean? Monday night game, you know, you're going to start a show today. You are going to start a show uh, honestly, when I saw the selection before the game, why is Sabayas not starting? Mm. I like Willock. Mm, but it wasn't the game for But him. Willock's a box-to-box guy. You've already got a box-to-box guy there in Gwenduzi. You can argue that Sabayas is a bit of a box-to-box player as well, but mm. he's a little bit more creative, and you saw a little bit more creation when he came on. Unai Emery is on thin ice. I have to, you know, I think it was... Uh, Lee judges who and he, by the way his interview yesterday was brilliant. He's on thin ice troops. I know you're backing him. Yeah. He's not gonna get the grace that Wenger got. No, nah, not like really. Lee judges said in his um his interview last night. Wenger had a lot of credit in the bank. He got us into the top four every year. He won us league titles, FA cups, even in bad times. Emery ain't won nothing. He's only been there a year, though. He's only been there a year, but you just, you, you just, you don't, you just don't get that time no more. Mm. If you don't get us in the top four this season, he'll be gone. If he keeps playing like last night, I don't even think he lost the season. It could be argued, and I uh, listen. This might sound controversial, yeah. If I was in charge of Arsenal right now, I'd be on the phone this morning to Allegri's people saying, "What's the score?" So you're Emery out. Have I'm not saying. Now? Hold on, I'm not saying Emery. Are you, are you finally coming out the closet? Hold on. I came out the closet. <laughs> I picked up the banana. <laughs> I'm not saying. Emery. I picked up the banner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm not, hey. listen, I'm yeah. not saying Emery out yet. I'm yeah. saying due diligence, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah if yeah. I'm in charge of Arsenal, mm. remembering how we let Pep Guardiola get away from yeah. us, how we let Klopp get away from us, mm-hmm. I'd be on the phone this morning yeah. just sounding out Allegri's people and saying, what's the situation? Is, it Is only... he still on a sabbatical? I'd be asking that question because if this continues... <laughs> Yeah, there's rumours, isn't it? I mean, I know you're sticking by him, but yeah, for me, come on, man, this yeah. is getting serious. No, 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 it's getting peak. Like, you, you said yeah, it last said night. It. It's peak. Yeah, it's it's peak, bro. Because when you check the level now, I said I back him. Yeah, but you understand, he's like I said in the in the fan cam, his game is off the wing. You understand? So I'm waiting for Tierney and Bellerin to come in. But I'm, now I'm sitting there and I'm like, Donny, you have the man them there. The man them are there to to use. You understand? Why are you not using them now, blood? You understand? Now I'm like. You're irritating me now. You're, you're, you're moving stubborn. You understand? And people got people took what I said out of context, blood. When I said that it was a like, like a Wenger game. When I said it was like a Wenger game, I meant like the end of his era. You understand? Obviously, when when he first came, it was flowing football up until maybe twenty up until the season that Leicester won the league. I think the football was flowing for Arsenal Football Club. I think from then it kind of started to go sideways, backwards, slow, dull. You understand? There would be glimpses of magic. That's what I meant when I said it was like a Wenger game because it was just sideways, backwards, slow, no intensity, no one looked up for it. You understand? Batman just up there, lost by himself. You understand? Pepe was doing well, should have scored. For me, I think he should have gone with his right foot because it's coming across you from the left, yeah, so you open yourself. Should have scored. You understand? You should have scored. Why did he take Pepe off? But that's my problem Pepe now. Pepe was You're the making... best player on the pitch. When why he you came take to the off? yeah, when he came to the club last year, Emery, his whole thing was the the changes he was making was correct. He was he was making. He was proactive, you understand? He was making changes and, and they were affecting the game in a positive way. Now he's, it's like he's sitting there and, and, and he's and, he, and he's double-guessing himself. Like, should I do it? Shouldn't I do it? Blood, he needs to move how he was when he first came, where he's just reacting. Somebody... When, I remember there was times, because I said, I was saying, when I remember I saw you at half-time. The first time I saw you last night was half-time. That's the first, because we drove up, we drove up, you drove up with Mo, I drove up with Brennan, innit? So the first time I saw and I said to you, like, and I said to you, Sabios. Sabios, why is he, you understand? Because when I saw the lineup, I even said to you in, when I when I butt you in the fan game, I said, bro, you know I don't smoke cigarette. But when I saw that lineup, I said, hits blood. I need a fag, bro. Because I need to smoke something now, blood, because this lineup is scaring me, fam. You understand? I in, in my preview, I said, teeny. My whole thing was teeny. Teeny has to start, blood. You understand? The only thing Klaasak did the whole game, yeah, was that ball for Pepe. That's the only thing he did. Yeah? The whole game. Going forward. You understand? David Luiz to me. He went fucking missing on that goal, blood, yeah? He went absolutely missing. I said it in the fan cam, yeah? I didn't know who it was who got double teamed. It was Guendouzi. When I've gone back home and I've watched it, McGoldrick has fucking pulled Guendouzi. So he's, he's blocking the jump. My man's gone behind him. So they know they go for the back post, yeah? Chambers is too far ahead. Chambers is, I understand. I don't know if he's ball watching or something. Louise is just fucking, you understand? Doing the samba in the fucking box. You get me? And then Xhaka. You understand? I'm going to put his five to a four. Because... He just stood there, blood. You understand? He, if he, if he, and I'm not blaming him for the goal yet, but he's too static. You understand? He's not mobile on his feet. If there was a Torreira there, Torreira might have been. You understand? You understand? And another thing as well, one second, another thing as well, I don't like is when we when we have a corner, yeah. Why the fuck is a Bamiang on the front post? And why is Pepe literally right there? Put them man at the top. Leave them up, yeah, because then you're giving you're giving you're giving the opposition a fucking. A, you understand? They have to think. They can't load the box now. You understand? The reason why they got the whole fucking the whole fucking grounds in the box, blood. The fans, everyone's in the box, dog. <laughs> you understand? Because they're looking at they're like, yo, you have Pepe, Abamayan, yeah, some fast man, dog, and these men are literally on the fucking six yard box. You understand? When we when you clear the ball, who's there to take it and run? You understand? If you just say to them, Pepe, Abba, you stay up, yeah? If you not clear that ball, hit one of them. You understand? They have to at least leave a couple man up. It frees up the box. They, it's not so, you understand? Because when you looked at the goal, blood, there was just so many Arsenal man in the box. For me, there was too much man. There was too many man, blood. There was so many yellow shirts and only a few, you understand? I was like, bro, what the fuck is going on? Like, there's no, you understand? Emery kept saying about, oh, they asked him like, oh, is this your best team, yeah? Somebody asked me a question. I think a media man said, oh, is this your best team? And then he said, um, what, for corners? So even, I think he's got an issue with the corners. You don't want to play Torreira. Why, though? He but is wanna, it... he, hold on. You don't want to play Tierney. Yeah. You don't want to play Ozil. Holding. You don't want to play Holding. Yeah, he's, 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 he's taking his time with Bellerin. Yeah. Understandable. But... What's the matter with this guy, what's, man? What's going on, G? He took, brought Lacazette on way too late. Way too late. 20 minutes to go. You don't want to play Sabayos. Yeah, you don't want to start Sabayos. 
What it's about like the new ice. Op- blood. It's, it's about like the, the new... ice is cracking. Nah, nah, nah. The ice is. Cr- Listen to what I'm saying to it's you. It's not yeah? cracking because look at the level now. Yeah, we're the fifth. The ice is cracking. No, but look, we're if... fifth and we're two points off top four. Yeah, so for we're me, three points off Tottenham. And they've had a terrible start yeah, to the but, season. Yeah, son. It's still early. It's still, it's still early. early. Yeah, it's still it's early. Still early yeah. But he's on thin. That ice is. This, yeah, for you, man, he's on thin ice. ice. This crack's going. Nah, for me, for me, he's skating right now, isn't it? Understand? Yeah, but he's skating. But he's like that. But right now, it's you like... were there last night at the fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was, and this morning I was listening to the the phoning that the guys did last night. Yeah. Check that out, by the way. It's brilliant. From the, um, we're doing those a lot after games now, where people can phone in. So we're trying to connect as many fans as possible. I listened to the phoning. Yeah. I listened to my brother who's doing it. He, yeah. he was at one time he was begging people, please somebody come on and say something positive about Unai Emery. And the phone just went quiet. Should have phoned me. Maybe I All right, give me some positives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's done well. Like, all right. The youth. The youth. He's done well with the youth. Yeah. Yeah, he's, brought through, he's brought through a lot of youth, yeah? But why he's, last defe- night? I like this, the way he's bringing through the youths, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? But he's playing them at the wrong time. He, Saka last Saka night. Saka should have come why off. Why did he leave Saka yeah, yeah, yeah. on and take off? And, and I said that, dog, because I was like, blood. He's overdoing it with yeah, the youths. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand? He's, was he he's, under 23 manager? Yeah, like kindergarten cop blood. One to them one day, you understand? <laughs> Real, real, real shit. Listen, man. I hope this guy succeeds. Of course, man. Right. man like, and you man are like vampire. right. You are right. It's too early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just trying to give people a balance uh, to a little way. We give the a little the upshot yeah, yeah, yeah. on what the vibes was last night. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it was embarrassing. If I was in charge. I was vexed, man. I'm not gonna if lie. I was Josh Cronky, I would be sounding out Allegri mm. because this sort of he's. I think he's won in the last 17 away Okay, games. here's my stat. One minute, one minute, one minute. There you go, bad man. Remember I told you I got a stat before All right, we started, give me a yeah? stat. I told you I got a stat before we started. Let me yeah. give you my stat. The oh. last, I think right. it's the last 17 away games. Okay. He's only won four. Okay. Um, That's uh, terrible. Uh, Unai, Emery's, uh, Unai Emery's away record since he's been at Arsenal, yeah? Uh, we've played 24. We've won eight. We've drawn six. And we've lost 10. We've taken 30 points, and in 24 games played, we've had two clean sheets. Since he's been in the league, Crystal Palace have a better away record than us. That's the stat I thought I'd bring, because for me, the only, f- only issue I have with Emery is, there's two issues I have, the away record and You'd the starting line for this. Yeah, 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 killing yeah. Wenger for yeah, this yeah, last yeah. year. Yeah, but look, he's been and here for a year. He's, he's only been here for a year, you understand? And look... For me, this is, what, this, is what, this is what I'm looking at it now, yeah? If he puts the man in, yeah, watch this now. If he puts the man in, yeah, i.e. Holding, if he plays Holding, for me, he has to go Leno, Holding, um, Socrates as the pair, and then Bellerin and um, Tini, yeah? You understand? Yeah? Not Socrates, sorry. No, Chambers and Holding, yeah? Bellerin and Tini, yeah? That's for me this year, yeah? But next year now, you can put Saliba in there. You understand? You could if if, if we might, actually if we actually do go for Upper Moncano like the rumours are about, you got Upper Moncano there. The defence, the defence is looking you understand now. You understand? With, with everyone if he puts everyone in and, and we add Upper Moncano to that with Saliba next season, it's looking so now the attack is So, so for have, me it's just the midfield with got, that now we're still the same slow playing out from the back and stuff like that. Because he's gotta put in he's gotta put in Bellerin, Chambers Holding and Tini. Holding's oh, there already. Tini's there already. He's got to put him in. You know that when That's you put it in saying, again, we'll he's got to put it right, in. Bear so back. He's got to next he's year. Got a bear back. Take off the condom, Emery. Take off the condom, Emery. Bear back, thing. Breathe it. You and your, Breathe it. You and your Breathe analogies, it. You know my analogy. Breathe the thing, Emery. You and your Breathe analogies. the thing, Emery. Breathe right, it. Listen. Come on, man. We're Arsenal. Gunshot we had here with. What the fuck you had here with? You're going to fire a bear blank. He might not be here next year. Done it to do that. Yeah, I know. And that's the thing. But that's he what I'm saying. Be here. Because look, he has a he has a chance to actually. It's a good job he weren't managing Watford, mate. He'd have been gone a long time. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that. Oh, he, 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 he needs to sort it out. Listen, <coughs> there was the other games. He needs to start running bareback. We got, with it, we, it? Simple we, as bad. We, Run bareback with it, blood. You understand? We gotta talk talk about we gotta talk about other games. We gotta talk about Feels better. We got to, oh, it's Kai, man. We got, <laughs> it does though. We got to, we got to talk about other games. Yeah, uh, yeah, the, yeah. the Man United, um, yeah, Man United did, versus Liverpool game. Yeah. That again, was... again, another manager. Mm. Again, that was that, to me. Right, you got the one nil up. Mm. United, I thought were playing well, very well. Then in the second half, he did an Emery. 
Solskjaer. This is what, uh, that's what Emery does. He just sat on it. He didn't try to go for that second game goal. They were playing much better than Liverpool. He just sat on it. And Liverpool, if you're going to bring Liverpool on, they'll score. 1-1. One, one. They, they let Liverpool get away with that. They should really have won that game. Tactically is what cost them. He changed Again? the... He cha- when, when, I see, when I see Rashford come off, yeah, I was like... Dee. Because he was the... I think he was Rashford, playing good. Like I said, I, I did a watch along, yeah? You and, always cussing him off yeah, trash and look now, he played good. Look, I, I did a watch... back to yeah, his old self. I did a watch along, yeah, and he was really up for it. He was high pressing. Yeah. He was causing Van Dijk hella problems, blood. Causing my problems. And as I then said... He, when he, as soon as Martial came on, I was like, bro, Martial's not that... Solskjaer sat back yeah. and let Liverpool come on to him. But then Klopp then... changed it as well because he was he started with Origi on the left. Then second half, he went to... He put Mane and um, Origi up top together and dropped Firmino in what? behind. You understand? Because he was playing Mane on the right, Origi on the left and Firmino in the middle. For me, for me, for me Origi's got to play in the middle. He's not like an Abba, where mm. Abba can play on the left and lick half goal. Or Salah and then Mane. Mane, he's a man that has to go in the middle. You understand? For Mino, you can drop into the 10 and then go to a 2. As soon as they've done that, that's when they started to attack. What do you make of the VAR decision? Blood, VAR's a fucking joke, blood. Because for me, if you're going if, if to if you're gonna give the United goal, you have to give the fucking Mane goal. Nah. Because, yeah, because look. In, I uh, thought... let, me, let, let me show you why now. Let me show you why now. Man, the, 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 the Man United goal, it's a foul and you let it go. Yeah? The Mane goal was... Uh, like, Mane did not intentionally handball that. You know me in this handball fucking rule. Yeah, you don't know me in this handball rule. No, no, hold yeah? on, hold on. If, you're just... letting, if, 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 let, if let, there's let, a let foul me... in a goal, yeah, and that's, that was the key, that was the turning point in that goal, you know, because when he's won that, James is breaking and he's got the whole right hand side to himself, blood. Let me just tell you something, right? That's in the that, final point. In, in so if game, you're letting that go. In that game, I. But then actually... you know, say Fergie was at the game, blood. So you know, say probably had a, <laughs> probably had a haggis to a man, like. Let me say something. It might be a bit controversial, right? I actually agreed with the VAR in that game, right? I did think that was handball by Mane. He got it right. That's what VAR has been bought in for. He got it right. He, he controlled it with his hand and he scored, right? Unintentionally. This, for me. Unintentional. You could tell. Still handball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was right. And then the other one, right? They, where they say they'll only overturn it if it's clear and obvious. For me, I don't think that was a clear and obvious foul. It was. I looked at it, right, and I'm like, you know what it was, right? It's the way Origi went down. Mm. It's like, yo, you only got taps, Bridget. Yeah, the way you ah, and fell down. Them foreign man, innit? Right? You know, they're different. And because the, re- the referees, you know, wave played on, yeah. play on, if I was the VAR guy, I'm looking at that, I'm like... I don't know, man. Is that enough to let that guy go down like that? It is a bit of contact, but mm. was that enough? No, you know, I'm going to stick with the ref. So that one I had no problem with. For me, yeah. The one where I had a problem with now, we move on to this game, mm. the Tottenham game. The VAR in that game, oh mm. my God. I mean, Dele how foul. the Delefeo one was penalty. Mm-hmm. The man fouled him twice. Mm-hmm. He's like, he chopped him once. He mm-hmm. said, no, actually, let me chop you twice. Because... Mm. We're Tottenham, we run the VAR team. Uh, speaking it, of penalties... It always goes in their favour. Yeah. Speaking of penalties, we should have had a penalty. We should have because had a penalty. Because what is the difference between yeah, what yeah. David Luiz did to Salah to what whatever my man did to yeah, Socrates? Yeah, we should have had a penalty in that game. And it's true against um, against uh, Sheffield United. You understand? But definitely, Watford should have yeah, had a penalty. Yeah, Dele Fafam. Vertong Umblad, you understand? Maybe maybe that black eye he got I'm not sure, kind of messing with his vision. The Dele Alli one, really and truly... Mad thing over there. The Dele Alli one... I think that's handball as well. It is because, like, you know what I mean? look, he shouldered it. You yeah. understand? What's your shoulder's part of your armor, like? Yeah. That's part. That's, that's, I know it's like your hand, but it's like arm, isn't it? Arm ball, handball, same blood clot. And then, and then, <laughs> and then, arm ball, and, blood. And then, even, and then to make things to put on top of that, yeah. the VAR gets it wrong. Yeah, there's no goal. You understand? So what are like? Yeah, ref's like no. But that, that was a poor result by yeah. Tottenham. But, but then dis- let's let's go on to Leicester now. Despite that, they're only a point, three points behind yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then we're still ahead for now. That's the main thing. For now. Yeah. Right, let's go on to Leicester. the Leicester game. Leicester 2, Burnley coming 1. That from was one the game nil. that got me home. Yeah, come, yeah <laughs> blood, blood clot, yeah. But, uh, coming, from one, coming from 1-0 one down, you understand? Again, VAR. I don't think... Blood, VAR Rob Burnley. You look yeah. harass, yeah. You Again. see? You look harass. That's You see? You look harass, yeah. That was a goal, blood. Johnny Evans' own goal, bro. Oh, goal, bro. But yeah. Tillemans, great goal. And Vardy again with another yeah. one. You understand? Vardy's on fire. Vardy's on fire, blood. Yeah. Vardy's on fire. Remember that song? You're the offensive <laughs> yeah. fight. You understand? Euro 2016 times. The, um, Chelsea. Yeah. 1-0. Just yeah. scraped it over Newcastle. Yeah. But, but they, Chelsea they, played they were well. peppering them. You know a point Newcastle that... Newcastle were like just... See the point that um, someone made yesterday? 
Look at how Lampard's got Chelsea playing. You yeah. can see that he's only just gone in there as well. Yeah. He's got you can see what he's trying to do. Yeah. I don't see what our guy's trying to do. That's mm. what but Chelsea winning that one nil. Mm. Um Wolves drawing with Southampton, yeah. that was a Blood. bit of a shot. How many V how many fucking him and it's gonna have the hat trick, bro. But the VAR got those right. Yeah. That's why when everybody's saying The handball one was dread. Everybody's saying about VAR, yeah. if you actually look at his weekend, right, it got literally everything right. No, not everything. Literally because everything. Right. The one that is apparently the, it, looked, it was just a horrible one at Tottenham. No, but that's... apparently it looked at our decision as well. Apparently VAR looked at the Socrates and said it's not a free. I said it's not a penalty. So for me, it's not yeah. been. It's not been good. The whole. Yeah. It's been, not I been think good. what it is is this thing about overturning and all that. No, but bro, that's a clear you penalty, bro. I, I don't know the why the, the I don't know why the referees don't run and go and check. This. There's a screen at the side, bro. They, they, they don't do want to check it. They do it in the foreign leagues. Yeah, they don't want to check it. Man, too bougie. Bournemouth nil, Norwich nil. Yeah. Um, Aston Villa two. Um, yeah. right on one. They come um, back, they come from, they come as well. Yeah. You understand? No. Moy blood, he's an idiot. He's never seen two in three idiot blood. What I think, an I idiot. I think he was vexed that Australia been knocked out of the World Cup yeah. in rugby. True, innit? <laughs> they got slapped up. And Everton, I'm very impressed with him. You see Walcott's shot. Walcott was played wicked Raw, in You see game. the shot. We hit the Walcott ball. Walcott and Iwobi. Iwobi's played Raw. as a number 10. Yeah, and did you see... And he Sik- played well. Sickerson's got a banger as well. Although Iwobi in that game... Yeah. I saw Iwobi, you know. On Saturday, yeah, I saw. It, I went to um, start. I went to Whitskid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't see Kalecha. I rang him. He was he was backstage yeah. doing bougie with um. He was chilling with Whitskid <laughs> and Bernard, innit? You know, Kalecha blood doing bougie. He's in his town blood. But man, see, uh, man, see, man, see, Wobby star. I was like, yeah. yo, what one? He was like, yo, man, like, what are you telling me? I was like, what are you saying? I was, I was like, how's Everton treating you? He was like, yeah, good. He I played said, oh, very well in that game, but he had one chance where he's clean through. Yeah, but you and know. he just hit him straight in the keeper. You know, that's, that's a Wobie, though, isn't the, it? That's the thing with the Wobie that frustrates people. Yeah, the end product. He, he's sometimes his end product, but I'm glad, we, I'm glad that he's doing well up there. Yeah. What did I used to say? That he, but, it'll be messy, and then he turns into fucking... We got them games coming up, yeah, Everton away. We lost last year. Leicester away. Yeah, we lost last year there as well. If we can't beat Sheffield United, are we ever going to go and get anything? I don't know, man. Am roll of the week. Do I even need to ask? Oh, mate. It's got to be Unai, isn't it? It's got to be Unai Emery. Emery Am roll of the week. Without a doubt. I don't even. I think, think this think... is the first time we're giving him ham. Mate, I think we gave it to. Nah, I think we gave it to the players after Baku. I'm not sure. But I think this this might be the first time we're giving it to. He's not Emery. had a. He's not. Have because... we had apart from apart from the Europa League? Yeah. As he's as Una Emery's team put in a good performance since away. Baku. Um, when was the last good away game? Good away performance in the Premier for League. For me, for me personally, honestly, hand on heart, Fulham away five one when we were singing, we've got our Arsenal work. And that, <laughs> you remember that, <laughs> innit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I swear that that for me. That was the last good one, bro. Because after that, yeah, yeah. How long ago was it that? It just went, you know, you understand? It just went, we went to City, got corned, went to um, United and Drew. Um, obviously, the best one would have been, if a Aubameyang scores at last minute in Tottenham, then it would have been there's that. Somebody sitting there's, be there's, somebody, there's somebody sitting at home, right? Mm. In London, when that game was being played yesterday, and he's either laughing, mm. or he's either cussing, and saying, and that's Ozil. He's got to bring Ozil back in the team now, hasn't he? Whether you like Ozil or not, he creates things. We've got no creativity right now. He has to bring Ozil back. Don't you think? Yeah, he's got to be on the bench at least. At least he has to be on the bench at least, bro. Has to at least. Because you've got Sabayos there, innit? But, oh yeah, happy birthday, Wenger, man. It's Wenger's birthday, innit? Happy birthday to Arsene Wenger. Mm. If you want him, maybe we should bring him back. I don't know about that. <laughs> it wouldn't be any worse. Be honest now. I don't know. Would things be any worse? You play Ozil. That's one thing. Would it be any worse? I don't know. Answer the question. You don't know. Answer the question. I don't know. Yes or no? No comment. Would it be any worse? No comment. Would it be any worse? I don't know. I don't know. We're not. He's not here. You do know. We don't know. Would it be any worse? You just quoted that stat. What? The stat that you quoted. Yeah, but it's still a better record than fucking Wenger's last two years. Is it? You check. heard it in the Graham show, he was saying that it was no worse. And that was in his last year with the worst team. He didn't have Pepe, he didn't have Sabias, he didn't have Tierney. Yeah, but we're not playing Tierney. Uh, <laughs> whose decision is that? Oh, Lam- Would it be <laughs> any worse? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. You got right, me ask the people out right now. Let me ask you yeah, guys. Leave out it in there. the comments. Is it any worse? 
Was it any, you know, or should I say, have things improved now mm. under Unai Emery? Yes or no? We're going to put, you know, put a poll to it. Are you actually going to put the poll in this I'm time? I'm going to put a poll to you. Are you actually going to put it in yeah. though? It's the going poll's to be up, up there, there. Right? Yes yeah. or no? Have things got any better? Mm. It's a bit like... <laughs> what? It's a couple like the old Vega thing. It's a bit like Brexit, isn't it? Oh my God. What are the people voting for? It said, yes! Let's leave! Like, no and then way. when you leave now, you find out, say, so yeah, actually... Um, when they back out there. All this is going to go up. Yeah. That's going to go up in price. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to renegotiate. And you're like, oh, boy, I don't know, man. Maybe we should have stayed in. Venga. Out. You sure? Yeah, stay by it, man. Emery? In for now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> yeah, for now, because come on, you know me, blood. <laughs> All right, well, listen, um, big game coming up this weekend against Crystal Palace. Hopefully you can get a result in that. Um, of course, we've got the Europa League, but we're doing all right in that. It's not the Europa League's not the issue. It's the league. We've got to sort that form out. Um, we'll be back at the um, just before the weekend with the Bias Preview Show. That's crunch time as well, mm. right? Because whoever loses that one, this weekend's game, is going to be doing a forfeit. Um, so, big weekend for us too as well. But thanks, troops. Love, man. Um, yeah. Things need to improve.